first question for you, Rick. How long have you been training with us? You know? uh, it was just for you. Yeah, you. I've been working with you. You've been working with me for three years. Nice, three years. Three years. Hey, perfect. That's great, man. Three good yeah. years. Yep. Yep. Very consistent too. Okay, next question, Rick. Why did you start training with us in, well, in particular? Yeah. What was your reason? I always try to have a workout regimen over the years, but as you get older, you know, these different gyms and stuff, they don't fit because they, yeah. they focus on folks at 20, 30s, 40s. I'm 72 right now. So I need to find somebody who could work with you know, older folks and be able to adjust. When I research, um, what you you've done in the past, you've worked with old folks, so, so it fits in right in. But I'm, what I'm trying to do have a very consistent workout program that can last me a long time, that can change, can adjust as I get older, you know, in, in a way, and they help me out long term. So, thank you, Rick. Um, actually, I, I do train people from 14 years old doing sports up into seniors. At Rick's age, but the really um, incredible thing with Rick is he got stronger over the years and he got way better than when he started from. So the workout he just did, it's very hard. Even at my condition, I would have a hard time doing his circuit that I gave him. I would say it's an advanced training level and he's doing it every week which is incredible, not just for his age, but just for him making all these improvements over the years that his his circuit training is is kick-ass. It's not easy. So I challenge any of you to come down, try it. Rick's at a really high level, and he's also walking a lot, which is also amazing, you know. He walks farther than I do. Um, what is your weekly walk like i know you you did eight miles one time but what is your normal weekly walking regimen i yeah, try to do five thousand uh steps each day but twice a week i do either five miles or eight miles go on time ahead and i walk through there so i have a, have a circuit so just have to try to keep and keep moving you know? that's awesome yeah. and we started him in the beginning i suggested go walk 30 minutes yeah. and unbeknownst to me he took it to a level where it surprised me. He just ended up walking farther and farther and farther, and all of a sudden he's doing seven, eight miles a day, which is awesome that he can walk that far every week. Mm -hmm. And you enjoy it too, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I love that aspect of about Rick. You know, I've always helped and advised him, but he'll take it to the next level on his own. So, so yeah. great credit to you, man. Yeah, that, I think really what's important for this program, I needed a, a good foundation uh, of a routine that can keep me in good shape so I can do more. Uh, that, and Mike was able to give me that. And the neat thing about it is, you know, every week he'd change things. So he, he kind of understands, he kind of figure out what I need that week to kind of work. It, it's always a surprise. And it's gonna cool because you know it's exactly what I need. So my intent is keep it until I can't do it anymore. Yeah. And hopefully it'll never happen for a bunch of years. So. Yeah, we just wanna strive for improving yeah. and keep going till yeah. the wheels fall off. Yeah, I'm the right. same way. Yep. I'm doing jujitsu yeah. sixteen years and yeah. I'm not a young athlete and my body's breaking down, but I'm not gonna stop. You know, we just keep doing what we can until we can't do it. So yeah. Great, man. Let's get to the next question, Rick. <laughs> how has the training helped you so far? You know, uh, after three years, yeah. how, how did it help? It's, uh, three years ago, I was weak, off balance, um, and I had, had, it was, I had a stroke about 10 years ago. I recovered okay, but as I got older, um, I got weaker. And so the program that, that uh, Mike put me on, I'm stronger, a lot stronger. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it helped me a lot and stronger I'm walking better um, the pains begin to disappear and all old old time of pain disappear because I'm in better shape so and that's cool that's exactly what need, needed to happen so perfect awesome and again credit to to Rick he just 
keeps working to improve and he's found his own way of improving himself. From the beginning, he had a little bit of uh, back issues, um, posture, difficulty walking at his knees and he figured it out and went ahead and fixed himself with hiring experts also. And he fixed all his little problems and now he's way better and way stronger. Yeah, but I, the foundation has to be a good exercise program. I mean, you know, the, the, when the muscles are in good shape, and then you get good aerobic activities, then the rest of it can come easy. So. Right, right. It does take a lot, but yeah, the baseline is yeah. get active, get on a fitness program, and, and Rick's a great example of what he did after three years. You know. Okay, what's the biggest difference, Rick, with the training have you seen in your daily life or just your body overall, what have you seen the biggest difference happen for you? I, again, you know, before, you know, I could paddle, I could uh, paddle, do paddle board, you know, work in a yard, but, but what happened about four or five years ago, when I bend down, get dizzy. Paddle board, couldn't keep, couldn't keep balance. They used to work, walk, walk uh, cohen, you know, and a few years ago, I couldn't do it anymore. And then what it's allowed me to, to uh, begin to rebuild the body, re, you know, and get, a, get my balance back. So I'm back into those things again. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. Thanks for the... <laughs> and again, a lot of it is on his own initiative. I didn't tell him to go up Cocoa Head, but he, he went up and did it again and surprised me. You, you challenged yourself to do Cocoa Head, right? After we yeah. started your training. And tell him about that back up on the top of Cocoa Head, how that feel? Yeah, it's, it was tough. Uh, about a year ago, I didn't want about a year ago, it was tough. You know, I, I saw January, January. It was tough, but getting out there and, and he's gorgeous from the top, it feel good. You feel, feel good. The hardest part was coming out. Interesting, because the bass weren't quite there yet, so, and the legs, so, what well, goes strong, couldn't, it, it couldn't take, it wasn't strong enough to take constant pounding, so. Yeah. In time, I'll be able to do that. So. Yeah, but you know, credit to him, he took it upon himself to hit Coco Ed and try it, and he made it to the top. So, again, I always admire his uh, self motivation and his own way of testing himself, and I love it because I don't have to push this guy, he's pushing himself. So, awesome, man. Okay, let's go to your um, training in particular, okay? So, for example, um, when we started, he couldn't really do lunges. Yeah. His balance was really off, and um, I had to take it down several notches so he could train. Just basic movements, basic exercises, and now we're doing more advanced exercises. And if you can ex explain, please, how has the training changed since day one to now? Well, as you said at the beginning, actually the first couple of weeks it hurt. It really hurt because the muscles, you know, have been working that hard, but. After a couple weeks, it you know it, it fall in place, and it, you could see, you could tell where I was weak. Basically, most of the muscles were. And, and what what uh, Mike does, he adjusts. You know, every week he adjusts. Even now, even today, and it, it's a strong workout today. But the next time we come next week, be a different workout. He'll change it to not make it boring. So it's always a challenge, and it is you know which is good because you always want to improve. Then you can't keep doing the same thing over and again. It's a sense of what I need, which is kind of cool. It, it, it does it every week. It's gonna, you know, plays with my my uh, routine every week, which is good. Yeah. One of the best things I've seen with uh, Rick improving was he couldn't do a dumbbell snatch. Yeah. He couldn't do a burpee with a ball because he was weak and his yeah. balance was really terrible. But now he's smashing it. He's doing one arm dumbbell snatches, no problem. He doesn't get winded, he doesn't get dizzy. He's pounding that burpee with the ball up and down quicker than I can. And he, like I said earlier, his training is at a different level. Even I can't keep up with him right now. So, good on you, Rick. Yeah, he can. I, I can, I can. <laughs> Believe me, I sit back and watch in admiration that this guy is smashing his workouts now. So, okay, one last question, Rick. Here's the most important question we're gonna finish with. Would you recommend my training and why? Yes. You know, 
I think Mike, I mean, the answer is yes. Mike mentioned that, you know, he has, he had high school kids in here to teach them and an old guy, old folks like me, right? So I think what's important to understand what Mike is sets a program model that works for you. If you're willing to do the work, he can get you there, but you gotta be willing to do the work. So come on, it, it's worth it. It's worth the effort, um, but you gotta have the motivation, you know, to do the work. And thanks to Mike, I'm here, and I hope to be here for a long time and continue, continue to, you know, stay in shape. I mean, he's got me there now, he'll be able to maintain and improve in areas that need to improve. So yeah. thank, thanks, my friend. Well, again, I'm very touched and very honored for him to, to say that. But the key point that Rick said is, if you're motivated like he is, um, I will get you there. Whether you wanna make the first team in football or you wanna win a wrestling tournament <clears throat> or just get in shape for retirement, you know, yeah. I can do it. I can help you. But Rick said the key thing, if you're motivated to do the work, I can handle the rest. I'll sit you on the right program, help you fix your diet, help you get in the best, best shape of your life like Rick has, if you're motivated. And Rick is highly motivated. This guy seldom ever misses a session. And he comes in ready to do work. He's enthusiastic and he puts out incredible effort that, that inspires me to, to up my level of training. So again, I'm just su super grateful for having you, Rick. Hopefully you inspire the next person out there that's thinking about training. Um, give me a call. We can talk about it. No charge. I give free consultations to discuss what you want to work on, what you want to improve. And it's up to you if you want to start because I'm ready to help you like how I have uh, helped Rick. And three years strong. This guy, he's like a bull, man. He just comes in here and just go he goes he puts in the work and i love it he smashes it so again an awesome interview rick is there any last words you want to give the viewers out there well i think to you thank you thank you for getting me where i need to be and thank you for keeping me where i need to be the thing why well, one of the reasons i'm here is mike because i never want to disappoint mike so i'll always show it. so thank you brother <laughs> and the same is mutual feelings for me. Um, I never missed this session. I look forward to training him, and he's inspired me in many ways. And I think we're a great team. And at this period of time, I'm ready to take on a few more clients. So if you're lucky, book a session with me, and you can become like Rick someday. Mm -hmm. and, uh, thank you so much, Rick. Yeah. Right on, man. Right on. Thank you, Ron. <sighs> Good job, Rick. Okay. Nice. Back straight. Use your butt. Keep your back straight. Nice. Four. Keep your back straight. Head up. Good. Good. All right, man. Five more. Five more. One. Good. Two. Use your butt. Use your glutes. Three. Good. Two more. Good. Good. One more. All right, good job, Rick. Hup. 